the people in Rampangalang is protesting against the constructions of an integrated uh, glass industrial center of what the, uh, the government called uh, Rampang uh, Eco City. It is very close to uh, Singapore, like a few kilometers from Singapore and security personnel of the Batam Free Fort uh, Agency. Uh, and I think they were protesting the government project because they are under threats uh, to be expelled. Uh, and many of them, uh, I think the total of the population there is uh, seven. I mean, the the, the, the affected population uh, is around 7,500 native people uh, living in the island. And uh, uh, they are in objection of the national project as uh, by the government. Uh, it wasn't uh, fully communicated. It wasn't uh, consulted uh, with the local uh, native uh, residents. And and is this going to be on land that they have lived on for many, many years? Yeah, they have lived there for many, many years, hundreds of years. Even they lived there before Indonesia, uh, in modern Indonesia, has, uh, uh, being established and mm -hmm. founded. So, so what? I understand this is a Chinese company that is is investing in this site. What's it going to actually be used for? Well, um, uh, uh, this business is invested by uh, Chinese investment, but also with uh, the national companies affiliated with uh, Tycoon in Indonesia, and also uh, have widely known to be uh, unfriendly to environmental protection and human rights uh, protection. Yeah. So what did you make of the way the police responded to these protesters? It's too militarized. Uh, I think we condemned police violence, police brutality against residents of uh, Rampangalang Island. I think this is not the first uh, violence related to uh, the constructions of national strategic projects that threaten local communities, that threatens indigenous uh, communities in Indonesia. And this indicates uh, that national strategic projects uh, are again in problematic nature, uh, in trouble. And I think uh, the central government, the authorities responded to citizens' protests by um, threatening them uh, and also by justifying the arbitrary arrest and arbitrary detention against uh, so many uh, local protesters. And they deployed uh, military and the police uh, with uh, an excessive size of force, including the excessive use of batons and uh, tear gas which endangered uh, adults and school children at their classes at the time. It is difficult to justify that tear gas entered the school area uh, for amnesty because it was blown away by the wind as claimed by the police. Uh, and I think the excessive actions uh, uh, clearly degrading uh, human dignity, degrading uh, uh, human rights as recognized by Indonesian law and international uh, human rights obligation of Indonesia. Yeah. The government, Jokowi, um, has said that, in fact, these people will be compensated for their land, they will be given money, they will be given a new home. Um, is that the case? Yeah, they, the, the government promised uh, to uh, relocate them and also give them some money. But it wasn't... Uh, through a meaningful participation and consultation. And therefore, uh, the native people of uh, the island or from the island have consistently uh, and constantly uh, rejecting uh, the construction of this uh, business uh, uh, centre. Yeah, so in, in, in effect, the community doesn't want to leave this land. They want to stay where they are. They want to stay in where they are because they have lived there uh, with their, you know, parents and grandparents or their ancestors for many, many years, long before Indonesia even exists. Yeah. So what do you think is going to happen now? Do you think there's going to be any form of consultation or is this just going to be forced through? I think the likelihood is that the government is going to force through the projects. 
learning from uh, previous many other uh, national strategic projects uh, led by Jokowi's administration, it has always been, you know, ignoring uh, people's aspiration. It has always been uh, sidelining the importance of uh, of human rights, the importance of uh, government obligation to inform them, to consult with them, and to obtain a free and prior informed consent from the uh, from the native uh, people, uh, including uh, in West Sumatra. A couple of months ago, there was also a militarized uh, approach against the local uh, people uh, who reject uh, the, the constructions of similar national strategic uh, project. And also last year in Wada, Central Java, in which the government also forced through the uh, constructions of uh, national strategic project without consulting with the with the local uh, people. So this has already been a pattern of uh, Joko's administration uh, and in 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 implementing uh, the development agenda, the, uh, the implementing the uh, investment uh, projects without consulting. Uh, first with the local community, including in West Papua, where indigenous uh, people have no chance to really, you know, to be informed or to, to be consulted, uh, let alone to be uh, giving, uh, to be given, uh, you know, a chance to give their consent over the land grabbing or over the expansion of palm oil or expand or expansions of the new mining uh, areas, such as in central Papua. Yeah. And, and and from past experience, do you think the communities will be properly compensated if they are forced off their land? No, I haven't seen any proper compensation given by the government uh, in previous, in past experiences, including in Papua, where uh, the expansion of uh, palm oil, uh, mining, uh, or even the new finding of nickel in Raja Ampat, or uh, nickel uh, mining in Morowali, Sulawesi, and also nickel mining in uh, Halmahera in, in, in Maluku. So the reason that is the reason why uh, so many uh, uh, human rights uh, organizations as well as indigenous rights organizations have consistently uh, criticizing uh, President Widodo's uh, uh, ambition on, on, on investment. Yeah. Good to talk, Osman. Thanks very much for your time. Thank you so much.